Once a giant, always a giant. For me, it's only a giant. What's going on YouTube, Diggy546? This one is going to be O'Shane Zimenez. And I wanted to just go over what he did on Sunday against the Browns. He played 29 snaps. I think he had about five or six pressures. A couple of quarterback hits. Almost caused a fumble. He, he had a really good game. He definitely did. I've been calling him Zimini Crickets over the last couple of months just because he disappeared for a while. But, you know, he, he looks like he's ramping it back up. He's showing that he has all the pass rush moves that he needs. He's just got to put it together on the field. Got to stay healthy. And hopefully this year, Zimenez actually gets pass rushing snaps. I mean, last year he didn't really get snaps. And, and that was one of the reasons why he kind of disappeared and we kind of forgot what his potential was because he just didn't get snaps. But I'm going to walk through a couple of plays. Uh, this first one is going to be a run play where he didn't really do what he was supposed to do. Uh, I'll show you another run play where he did well against that run play. And then I'll show you a couple of pass rush reps that I, he really stood out to me. You know, he really popped off the screen with. So let's start with this first run play here. So you're going to have Osan Zemenez right here uh, with that arrow I just pointed. And he's lined up over the tight end right now. And what they're going to do is run right at him. So this fullback's responsibility is to go get Zemenez. Now, if you're playing against a dominant defensive end or, you know, edge player, he's going to pretty much make mince meat of that fullback and make the tackle on the running back. But since he's not really a dominant run stopping edge, 31 gets right on him, blocks him. And at that point, he, he's, he's blocked up. He tries to disengage right here. He just can't do it. And the running backs ends up getting outside. And, you know, Dearness Johnson goes for about, you know, 10, 11 yards because Zimenez wasn't able to get off that first block. And everybody pretty much blocked up their guy perfectly. And when that happens, you're going to have wide open gaps like this. But Zimenez has got to do better on runs like this, especially when you're not messed up on a tackle. You got to be able to beat those. You got to be able to, to, to contain or else he won't get those snaps and he won't be able to show off what he can do in the pass rush game if he can't stop the runs to the edges. All right, so next play, you got Zimenez again lined up right here. And he's just going to pretty much just show you how explosive he is as a pass rusher when he comes off of this edge. A lot of times I don't let things play because of copyright, but I'm just going to let this go through. And you're going to just see how fast number 53 on the left side comes off the ball. Now, this is kind of even slowed down, but you just see how explosive he is. 66 can't even get a hand on him. There's not really much technique to, to analyze right here. The fact that what I would like to see Zimenez do right here is kind of long arm this dude, you know, kind of stiff arm him the way that you see Aziz Ozilari kind of stick out that left hand, and that would be even easier. But that's nitpicking because you see Ozilari disengage, get his hands off of him. 66 barely touches him. The running back stands no chance either. And this should be a sack, but the quarterback makes a great play to get out of it. And Trent Harris on the other side was having a great offseason, misses a sack too. And Kyle is gone for, you know, for a million yards. So he's got to make that sack. But the pressure coming off that edge really affected the play. And it could cause, you know, an interception or a mistake by the quarterback in the future. All right, so this next play, you got Zimenez again, lined up right over number 66 again. And you're just going to just see how unblockable this dude is when, again, he's going up against backups. But this is a great start, and I have seen him do this against starters in 2019. So you're just going to see him come off the ball again very fast. This time, 66 does a way better job of meeting him, uh, but it doesn't matter. He just gets his hands off of him, places that right hand on the back of his shoulder pad, and rips pass, and that is curtains. And that's the, the long arm that I talk about. Sticking that arm out so he can't recover and just dipping. And a lot of guys aren't able to make the transition from here to being able to dip like this and turn that corner at a high level and at, you know, pretty much full speed and get a nice hit on the quarterback. And in my opinion, it was an, in, it was an incompletion and the ball went forward. But that's essentially, you know, that's a, a millisecond, not even a half a second away. That's a millisecond away from that being a forced fumble and, you know, him making a huge play for his team. So I talked about O'Shane Zimenez making a good play in the run game. The, the beginning of the video, he didn't make a good play. 
But this time he does a great job of setting the edge, holding it, holding firm on that edge so the running back cannot get to the edge, which is exactly what you need to do when you're an edge player. I mean, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory as an edge. You need to make sure they can't get outside. So let's run through this. You're going to see Zimenez come off the ball, stay patient, and pretty much just turn this guy to the inside. Turn this guy to the inside. And at this point, he's already disengaged, forces the running back to cut it back inside, and David Moa cleans it up. So this is one of those plays where it doesn't show up in the stat sheet. People probably don't even notice it. When you see this on tape, you see a player doing his job, getting outside, disengaging, and this pretty much stops everything because if you look at, you know, if you look at everything, there's space over here. If Zimenez tries to cheat and cut inside, there's space over there for that running back to be one-on-one -on -one with a corner or if the receiver can block to be one-on-one -on -one with the safety. So Zimenez did a great job on this play. And I just wanted to give him credit because we talk about when they mess up in the run game, but I want to talk about when he does something positive. And then this is the last play I'm going to show you all. Zimenez lines up actually at the defensive tackle position. And he did this quite a bit in this game. So they used him there a lot. And I'm not sure if he's going to be successful in that area because when he was used there for most of this game, he got double teamed and he didn't really get much pressure. But uh, right here, they used him at that defensive tackle position and they dropped him back in coverage and basically told him to play quarterback spy. So you're just going to see how this goes here. And this is actually his only sack, which is hilarious because he was getting so much pressure. But he gets his only sack from basically an inside linebacker spy position which shows that he's a lot more mobile in the open field, you know, compared to last year because they wanted guys who could be open field guys who can be used in versatile ways. And it's showing that Zimenez is able to do that. So let's watch this play. They're going to snap the ball. Case Keenum gets the ball and he goes into a spy immediately. Then he's one-on-one -on -one with them. And Case Keenum tries to take off. Zimenez hawks him down, ends up with the sack. So Zimenez is definitely flashing more than I've ever seen him flash before, uh, especially when you consider the fact that Lorenzo Carter's having a great camp. You see that Aziz Ojolari is doing his thing. Trent Harris has been all over the place. Carter Coffin's doing his thing on the inside. So this pass rush looks like it could be very improved. And Zimenez has got a toolbox. He's got a ton of moves. He didn't actually get to use those moves as much because he just beat this guy with speed. But it's showing that he can be that speed rusher he can be someone that can be unblockable off the edge. And to have him, Ojolari, Lorenzo Carter, all these guys in the rotation makes me feel a lot better about our pass rush compared to how I felt a couple of months ago because I really didn't know if Zimenez was ever going to flash like this again. And he's proven us wrong. He's proven me wrong. I was calling the dude Zimini Crickets. But right now, I'm just waiting to see him play again. I'm excited to see what he does the next time he steps on the field. And this is, I guess, a pretty quick film session. Nothing too in depth. Um, we need the all twenty-two black. We need we need the all twenty-two back. We really do. So hopefully we can get that back soon, so I can go even more in depth. But overall, great game from Zimenez. You guys, let me know what you're thinking of him, what you're expecting from him this year. Give me a sack number. If you made it this deep into the video, come on, just hit the subscribe button. I make Giants content primarily, draft content secondarily, and. During the season, I'm going to be doing a lot of reacting to pretty much most of the NFL games and everything NFL. So if you made this deep, go ahead and join the D6 squad.